Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Rahul, and today we are going to see how to create cable protections by using Zookin software E3. These videos are I am making for education purpose, and if you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe the channel. Okay, so let's get started without wasting our time. Okay, so how to place this connector on? How to use? First of all, I have previously some uh, connector placed on this form board and connection. Okay, so you have to just find this uh, cable protection folder in the component. Click on the component. In the component, you will see cable protection folder here. Now, branch protection tour you have to find over there. Okay, this uh, we can say uh, the shape looks like the loom. Okay, or conduit. You can say conduit. Okay. Now just first of all I will show you how to place that cable protection on the cables and then we will uh, also create how to create that one and how to modify that ok. So just drag this and just place on this segment. This is placed directly over here ok. Click on this cable protection. Uh, you can drag like this up to here how much distance you want it to maintain from the back of the connector you can maintain. If you don't want to maintain, you can place up to here. Okay. Now another method is that is just right click here and I think uh, can place on segment, place continuously. This one option is there. Place continuously means just uh, select this one and it will directly again for the next segment click like this. It will go on continuously. You have to click escape for cancel for now. Okay. Like this, you can just drag from here to here select this protection drag this to this side and drag from this point to up to this node ok and then drag this protection from this to this up to the connector ok in this way you can use the cable protection different conduits braidings and looms from this folder cable protection ok now how to make or how to modify these conduits ok you, uh, we don't uh, have to do lots of just click on this uh, what we can say just click on this this branch protection we took right so place this uh, side here on this forward click on this right click click on the jump click on the jump to symbol of miscellaneous it is in miscellaneous miscellaneous cable protection this one ok right click here and just click on um, new so if you click this so you will get these uh, attributes uh, this cable protection with the attribute higher level assignment location device designation and component code and length ok these are some uh, by default attributes we, we will get we can add from here this also now these are sufficient attributes and here is only this uh, graphical uh, representation of that uh, cable protection is there and just origin point they have given it is not so much there ok so if you wanted just if you wanted to change the color select this one select this graphic and click on the graphic properties and then next you can change the color color is not changing so we can change the pattern over here click on and apply ok you can change the pattern like this also different patterns are there ok this pattern used for mostly tape you can create tape ok this pattern used for the tape this hatching line also used for some up some time oh, ok ok this hatching line are used for the tape and this uh, what you can say this plain line this is used for uh, what you can say the heat shrink or uh, covering on the bundle ok ok like this this is for this is used for breading lots of different types of are there ok click on hatching if you want to give any hatching or 
you want to feel the color okay this is just taking some hang it is in a hang I have to click on OK here right now. I right link, click on properties. Okay, this option is not working. It's okay. If you change this one and uh, just right click uh, and click on symbol properties, you can give any name. I will give the new. I will directly give the breeding B R A I D I N G breeding name to this symbol. Click on the OK. Right click and click on Save to Database. It will directly save to the miscellaneous breeding. Or here in you can see in the miscellaneous cable protection, this breeding is saved here. Okay. Now it's time to use. Uh, I will just drag this. Uh, just reset research uh, reset search here is the breeding you can drag like this okay and component we have to make now so for making component click on this object right click jump and jump to uh, jump to okay okay i mean th this is what this not required component we can directly place on the segment select this delete this one and try to place this on here like this okay you can drag this building like this and like this okay select this one and try to drag this point to this side like this you can place okay so in this way you can uh, create the cable protection and you can place the cable protection and you can modify the cable protection by using the Zucan software E3 on the form boards. Thank you very much friends for watching the video and kindly subscribe the channel and thank you very much for watching.